Hello, this is Voices for Learning, where we help you grow as a voice actor. I'm Susan Fouché. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a mistake in Audacity by using Punch and Roll and by also putting in another track to fix your mistake. So here we go. So I have Audacity open and I also have my script open from just like an e-learning uh, job that I'm working on. So um, what I'm going to do is record this slide number 10 and I'm going to make a mistake and then show you how I fix it a couple different ways. So in Audacity to go ahead and get a track, I just go to track, add new, mono, and then I'll go ahead and start recording. To record you can either hit the uh, record button or the letter R. Let's now dive deeper into what goes into an elevator pitch and how to piece it all together. Keep in mind the following components. Think about your journey. Then think about your plans and goals. Okay, let's say that I messed up the think about your plans and goals and I wanna record that over again. So I'm going to use what's called punch and roll. Punch and roll just simply means that we are giving ourselves a pre role to help us get into the recording before we record. So when I use punch and roll, I want to replace the whole then think about your plans and goals, but I want to give myself a little bit of leeway. I want to give myself kind of like a head start and I want to get my head space right and I want to know well, what does it sound like beforehand. So that's all punch and roll is. It gives you a pre-roll that just tells you this is what's preceding what you're about to record. To do a punch and roll in Audacity, I just simply put my cursor right in the middle of the track, right before where I want to record. And then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Shift D, and that is going to give me that pre-roll. Think about your journey. Then, think about your plans and goals. Lastly is a call to action. How will you continue the conversation? Oh, so I'm pretty happy with that. I messed up right there, so I'm just going to delete it. But what if I say, yeah, but you know what? I don't like this part right here. And it's right in the middle and I want to go ahead and replace this. Well, you can go ahead and use punch and roll, but what's going to happen is everything after your cursor is going to get deleted and then you have to record it all over again. So let's say that you want to just replace, then think of, or think about your journey. You just want to replace this part. You don't want to replace the end. You want to keep all that there. This is perfect. You want to keep everything in the beginning, but you just want to replace something in the middle. How do you do that? In Audacity, the only way to do it is by adding an extra track and just re-recording, think about your journey, and then copying and pasting it in. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I want to re-record. So I'm actually going to just highlight that so I can remember it. I highlight all my mistakes in pink, um, just so you know. I think it's a good like idea to color code stuff. So I'm going to mute my track, and I'm going to add a new one. And then I can find where it is. Here's where Think About Your Journey is. So here it is. I'm going to put it right here, uh, my cursor right here underneath Think About my, Your Journey, which just tells me, hey, this is kind of where it's going to go. Think about your journey. Okay, let me listen to it. Okay, I'm just going to select it. And then it's just the keyboard shortcut that's for pretty much every application in the world on any kind of computer. Control C, or on any kind of PC, Control C. And then I just go up into my track. I can actually listen to it to double check. I just highlight it with my cursor, and then it's just the keyboard shortcut Control V to paste. Let 
And that's it. So that is how to fix your mistakes in Audacity. One, using punch and roll, and two, going ahead and uh, getting another track and then just copying and pasting from that extra track. So that's it. I hope you learned something. I've got another video about um, how to do this exact same thing in Studio One. And you'll see actually how uh, crazy easy and robust that is. And there's more stuff in the description about coaching and joining um, voiceover groups, which I think are really important to do, especially if you're new. Um, there's a great f uh, voiceover group to join. You'll see it in the description. And it's called a voiceover journeys elite group. And that is a fabulous group to join. Um, they meet every Wednesday and Saturday, and you will learn so much uh, by joining that group, including Audacity tricks and tips and Studio One stuff, you know, stuff uh, for Adobe Audition, any of kind of your DAW, they, they talk about all that, um, including lots of other wonderful stuff. So check that out in the description. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.